Hey guys, it's Erica Galinas from the Mike McKay Group at Century 21 Affiliated with our 2020 end of the year market numbers for Dyer, Indiana. Um, I went back and pulled through the numbers, looking forward, see what's active and pending, so we'll kind of see what this first quarter holds for us. So in 2020 in Dyer, Indiana, we sold approximately 390 houses. And again, that's all kinds of houses. Uh, single family, townhouses, everything, new construction, everything in between. Um, 390 sold for a total of $110 million worth of property changed hands in Dyer in the year 2020. Um, the average sales price, 284,153. Um, average days on market, 46 days. So about a month and a half, something like that. Um, compared to 2019, so 2020, we sold 390. 2019, we sold 371 for a total of 102 million. Average sales price, 279,165 in 2019. So that's a difference of about what would that be? $6,000, something like that. Um, I'm sorry, $5,000 in between 2019 and 2020. So kind of dead on. I mean, almost no change there. Days on market went uh, down to 46 days from 59 in 2019. Um, so the market's a little bit faster. Again, not a tremendous amount, a couple weeks or something like that, but a little bit faster. Um, list to sales price, so the price it was listed for versus what it actually closed at, um, we ended up at 97.5 in 2020 versus 97.8 in 2019. So a 0.3% difference, not a huge deal. Um, so basically that's the same number between the two years. Um, splitting those down into single family homes and then like condos, townhouses, duplexes, stuff like that. Um, single family real estate uh, sold for 311 on average in 2020 versus 300 in 2019. Condos, townhouses sold for 210 average in 2020 versus 190 in 2019. So that's about an extra $20,000, which is actually a pretty significant jump for a condo, townhouse kind of duplex market. One of the reasons I like to break those out for Dyer is because we have, you know, Briar Ridge and a couple little spots that have these million dollar homes that can throw off the average a little bit. So the other thing, and we've talked about in Dyer before, is new construction. You know, Dyer was the first town on our Indiana side of the border that really felt that crush um, from that Illinois buyer traffic, which now, of course, it's been, you know, how many years now? But they were the first ones to really get it. So they put in a bunch of new construction homes, uh, you know, a few years before, St. John, you know, Winfield, Crown Point, those kinds of areas kind of started there. So there's not, there's not a lot of land left. There's not a lot of new construction. Um, in 2020, there were 16 new construction homes sold and 15 new construction condos sold, which is kind of interesting that the condo market they're selling, and these are predominantly over on Calumet, almost to the state line right there. Um, that's predominantly they're putting in, in um, you know, patio homes, duplexes, those kinds of little things there. Um, that's almost more than doubled since 2019 in terms of those condo and townhouse sales, new construction wise. Um, and then new construction in 2019 for single family homes was 26 versus 16. So again, we're, we're kind of running out of land to build new stuff in Dyer. A lot of the builders, particularly in that Dyer area, although you are still starting to see it in St. John, a little bit in Winfield, there's a lot of demand for ranch homes. And ranch homes, because they don't have two stories or whatever, require a bigger footprint of land. So um, they're trying to condense some of that new construction onto smaller lots. And the easiest way to do that is by putting in a duplex there or putting in a, a townhouse or something. So I think that's probably what we're gonna see in the near future in Dyer and towns like Dyer where they're just kind of running out of land. Um, in terms of active listings right now, we have single family real estate. There's 14 houses for sale. In all of Dyer, there are 14 houses for sale. This is Northgate all the way down to the Cedar Lake line. You know, east to west, there's only 14. There's no new construction for sale right now. Not super unusual. A lot of times they'll get moving again in the spring, so we'll keep an eye on that. But only 14 homes in Dyer for sale today is kind of a surprise, particularly with the demand we've had on the market and the pressure that's putting on prices. Um, it seems surprising that more sellers aren't selling. Obviously, there's a ton of stuff going on. So, I mean, from the unpleasantness to, you know, politics and, you know, it's tax season. There's all these different things going on. We will see this number go up. But I'm personally surprised that there are only 14 homes for sale in all of Dyer. Um, five of those houses are over a million dollars. One of that five is actually over $2 million. So, I've just kind of put those to the side just because they, you know, skew the average. I assume most of my, my uh, viewers are not in the million dollar range. So we'll just stick with the regular averages. The average list price for these active houses, again, not ones that have sold to a buyer yet, but just around the market now, 
$436,000. So we have active listings averaging $436,000 compared to our 2020 average sales price of for single family $311. So that's over a $120,000 difference uh, between the active and sold listings. We're going to keep an eye on that. I did my shareable one last week. We saw the same thing. We're going to see how that works going forward. Um, in terms of condos, townhouses, stuff like that, there is one listed in Dyer today. It is a new construction. It is listed at $272,000. There are no other condos, townhouses anywhere in Dyer listed for sale, just this one. Um, pending ones. So these are things that have been listed but haven't closed yet. So they have a buyer. They're doing home inspections and waiting for their clear to close and stuff. We have only 17 pending single-family homes right now. So 14 listed, 17 pending. Our market might be stalling no i don't have a crystal ball we'll talk a little bit about that in a couple minutes but these are very low numbers from what i would expect expect to see because this also encompasses the early winter and late fall market that these things just haven't closed yet and i would expect some of them bigger but either way so they're pending 17 of them the average list price uh, yeah the average list price of these 17 is three hundred and fifty three thousand. so now we have three numbers Average list price for what's for sale is $436,000. Average list price for what's pending is $353,000. Average sales price in 2020 is three hundred and eleven. dollars So we have a big skew in these numbers here. And we're going to have to pay attention to, you know, when these pendings close or these actives become pendings and then close over the next several months to see exactly, you know, the big question is, are people miscalculating? Are active listings right now miscalculating in terms of what they're asking for their houses? I'm sure they're great houses. Every house is worth a million dollars. That's all fine. But we're going to have to pay attention because if people are overshooting the average sales price from the last year by, what did I say, $120,000 or, yeah, $120,000, yeah, you, you may want to keep an eye on that because somewhere, either the buyers are desperately anxious to buy these properties or the sellers are very optimistic about their prices. We're going to have to see where these end up. Um, no million dollar homes pending right now. Not unusual. Million dollar homes usually take a little while to sell because their buyer pool is so much smaller. Um, only three of them are new construction. So again, we don't, we will see more new construction presumably listed in the next several months. You know, it's cold. They can't dig basement holes and stuff like that, but we're running out of, we're running out of room in Dyer. So we're going to keep an eye on that as well. Um, Condos townhouses pending right now. There's 11 of them pending, which is actually a pretty, a pretty good number. Average listing price on these pending condos and townhomes is $240,000. So um, two of them are new construction. We know that the one that is listed is at 272. So if those two are at 272, I know that there's some other ones that are like at 190, 210, something like that. That brings that average about 240. That seems about the same. Um, the average closing price in 2020 on townhouses and condos was $210,000. $30,000 difference. We'll just have to see. That is not such a huge span that, you know, I'm, it seems odd, but it still is a big difference. So, I mean, if these condos and townhouses are jumping, you know, $30,000 in the matter of months, um, we have a pretty, we'll just say a crazy market on our hands. Um, my big things for Dyer right now, looking at 2019 to 2020, nice and stable market. You know, normal, that's exactly what we want. A little bit at a time, a little bit at a time keeps everything nice and stable. Um, based on these pendings and actives, these average list prices versus the sales prices, I'm very curious to see what's going to happen. Because again, when you have that tremendous difference between average sales price and average listing price, somebody is going to walk away disappointed. Either the seller isn't going to get as much as they would hope they were hoping that they were, or the buyer is going to pay more than they, you know, thought they would. And those kinds of things can lead to uh, market problems. I mean, obviously not huge problems, not like it's going to go belly up and nobody's going to sell anything. But what you're going to have is sellers discouraged from listing because, you know, some realtor promised them $436,000 or whatever it is. And, you know, it's not happening. Um, and or you're going to have buyers who are like, you know, Dyer's way too expensive. This is crazy. You know, that two months ago was only at, you know, 311000 And they're going to start looking in Crown Point. And they're going to look in St. John. They're going to look in Cedar Lake, down in Lowell. Um, you know, when you're looking at a difference of sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000, most people are willing to drive another 10 or 15 minutes to get to their new house. So that is something for Dyer that we need to keep an eye on. I would hate for that market to stall. The big stumbling block, as always, again, based 14 active listings and 17 pendings, sellers aren't selling, which is fine. Sellers aren't required to sell their house or anything like that. But when you look at the regular market cycle in a town, eh, we're stalled right now. And again, 
there's all kinds of things going on. It's also, what, January 12th or something like that. So we have some time to see what's going to happen in 2021. But this is worth paying attention to because, you know, the, the bad thing that could happen to Dyer for sellers that are waiting for, you know, maybe not the spring. Spring's probably still okay, but let's see where we are next summer. Let's see where we are a year from now. If Dyer market stalls out in a way that it could based on these numbers, those sellers are not only going to not get their 436000 but they're, you know, potentially hard-pressed to get this three hundred eleven. So um, I will keep you updated every month on these dire numbers so we can keep an eye on, um, you know, the two big things around here. A, is this market stalling or, or you know, having growing pains in some other way? And B, what's going on with new construction? There is still some vacant land um, all the way to the west, right on the state line, that they... You know, you drive by and you see some surveyor stakes or you see a drainage project. And it's like, what's going to be happening there? Um, Dyer's obviously a valuable market. We may see a lot more new construction over the next, say, six months or something like that. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. Um, okay, that's what I got. If you guys have any questions, whether you live in Dyer, you want to move to Dyer, you live anywhere in Lake Newton, Porter, Jasper counties, please let me know. I'm always available to help. Even if you think it's a dumb question, my policy is no dumb questions. And I'm super low pressure, so you don't have to worry that I'm going to bother you every day for the rest of your life. Um, call me or text me. Oh, wrong way. 219-765-2062. You can also email me at HS by Erica. It stands for Home Sales by Erica. HS by Erica at gmail.com. Feel free to comment on this video. Um, send me a private message or a Facebook message. I'm happy to respond and I'm available pretty much all the time. Thanks guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.